has a recent calamity sparked off a chain of events that will lead to the delay of consoles next generation. Let's get into it. What's up people, what's up people, what's up people? It is your boy MM2K back again with another video. Do me a huge favor before we get into this one, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, rock those bells for notifications please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because y'all know the deal, I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right, so let's do this. See that there? It's an older article talking about particular tariffs that were gonna be set on um, Chinese goods that was sparking a trade war between the US and China that led to scares of consoles being held back. Um, now, in recent months, that scare has been diluted or has gone away as those tariffs apparently are no more. Um, but that discussion kind of like pulled the veil back off of how our trade deals or how our interactions with other countries, you know, at the heart affects our enjoyment of video games. Like people just think that games are made here and sold here and that and when I say here, the, the Western civilization or United States in particular, a lot of people are blind to the realities of how games are made, who actually develops them and, and, and how they get into our hands. Now, even though this scare is gone, and it opened the light to the prospects of how things happening in other regions can affect us getting games. We are victims of short-term memory. So because that was over and, a, and as little as a couple of weeks, we thought that the next generation was gonna be ahead of us. It was gonna come booming and it was gonna be no disruptions, right? Err, uh, wrong, uh, because of this. Now the PlayStation 5 and new Xbox hardware are due out this holiday, but both could be delayed because of the carnivorous virus. Um, and this is courtesy of Business Insider and the article reads as follows. Sony and Microsoft are working on the next versions of the PlayStation and Xbox, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X respectively. Both new consoles are expected to arrive to arrive 2020 holiday uh, shopping season, but those plans may change due to the Wuhan uh, carnivorous outbreak. According to a note from the financial services company, Jeffrey's Group published this week, Sony and Microsoft both manufacture game consoles and accessories in China, which has been hit hardest by the virus. Apple's next iPhone and Nintendo Switch, among many other products manufactured in China, are facing potential delays or constrained shipments due to the carnivorous virus outbreak. All right. It goes on to read like this. But the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, just like much of the world's consumer electronics, are being manufactured in China. And China is currently the focal point of the Wuhan carnivorous outbreak. Of the more 560 people who have died, all but two facilities have been mainland China. Over 28,000 people were reported as infected. Um, China's manufacturing sector, which is responsible for the producing a vast majority of uh, consumer electronics, has been hit particularly hard. Uh, and, and, and it goes on to read, similarly, similarly, Microsoft and Sony ramp up production of their next-gen uh, next consoles. Those launches could see delays or at least constraint launch supply due to the carnivorous outbreak. The video game sector is currently manufacturing or beginning to a once in a several years product, gen, uh, product generation change for the 2020 holiday season. A note from Jeffrey's group published this week says, if company shutdowns exceed a month or so, game schedules will be delayed. New consoles may likely suffer supply issues from a prolonged disruption ahead of their fall 2020 planned launches. Primarily, put more simply, next-gen consoles and the games being produced for those consoles may get hit with delays due to the carnivorous. And notably, Nintendo has outright announced production delays due to the carnivorous outbreak. Um, so with all that being said, um, and I wanted to ask this, add this last note from the article too. As much of 30 to 50% of art creation in Western games is done in China, according to the note. In terms of the hardware itself, nearly 100% of manufacturing takes place in China. So now that we have an idea of what we're dealing with here, um, we gotta stay in tune first and foremost. 
with the happenings in the world because they relate to what's going on in gaming. You know, we can't live in a vacuum. You know, I get people say, I don't care about this, I care about that. But when these things happen, then their jaws drop and then they want to get upset, right? And that's because they weren't in the know. And we, as you should all know, this platform is about being in the know. That being said, um, this is also going to be an eye opener for another regard. And again, I get where people may find this distasteful, but I I don't have a 20 plus year lineage in uh, feelings and emotions. <laughs> I have a 20 plus year lineage in business with which is rooted in factualities, whether they're just local or they have worldwide ramifications. So what am I babbling about? Cloud gaming, okay? We're talking about shortages and next gen peripherals and people being able to enjoy next gen because their launch into the next gen is dedicated on dedica uh, uh, dedicated devices. Okay, it's 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 hinged upon those dedicated devices where cloud gaming isn't so. And one of the leaders, if not the leader in cloud gaming, regardless of what you think about it right now, is Google Stadia. Perfect. Stadia right now, you know what I'm saying? You can play through the, the UCC or the CCU. You can play through the uh, browser. They're going to be like the least affected by this. So because of that, their competitors are going to be looking at that fact. And they're going to be looking to be moving to cloud networking and stuff like that faster, more than a lot of people anticipate. There is a reason why that article with Phil Spencer talking about how he's focused on Amazon and Google came out. And there's a reason why NVIDIA is releasing right now when they're pushing heavy into the cloud gaming uh, stratosphere. All this stuff isn't coincidence. So it's just all important and encompassing of us to be in the know, pay attention to articles like this, and understand why things happen the way that they do. And with that, that's it from your boy, MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below, because like I always tell you, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the Broadband Bullies, PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and yes, the Stadia dosage. And last but not least, if you did like the material, again, as a reminder, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and pass the word. You know, we're, we're, we're doing videos on a regular basis, trying to keep people in the know, trying to keep people informed. And if you appreciate it, let us know. And with that said, with that being said, you all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.